welcome to two of the stars of Macbeth, uh, Geraldine Hakewill and uh, Kevin Hofbau. Welcome to 3AW. Thanks, Dave. Hey, thank you. Hi. Uh, this is full, this cast is full of uh, well-known faces from television shows. Uh, Geraldine from Wanted, uh, Kevin from Offspring and also uh, Officer Tapu on Rush, was it? Tapu, yeah, on Rush. Tapu, good memory. <laughs> or you could thank Google. Uh, Sh- <laughs> Sharina, Sharina Clanton from uh, Wentworth, uh, Tom Hobbs from uh, Winners and Losers and uh, Jay Courtney who's doing big things on the world stage. Yes, yes, he is. And he's a big guy. Huge. (laughs) Big guy doing big things. Big guy doing big (laughs) things. Nothing nothing wrong with that. Um, For those who don't know the story of Macbeth, and uh, there'll be a lot of listeners, I reckon, who would have had uh, uh, the Merchant of Venice or those style of things when they were Mm. in their senior years. With me, nothing resonated with me at high school, so it didn't matter. But uh, just give us a bit of a picture of this story. Kev, do you want to? Uh, Yeah, look, uh, Macbeth is, uh, is a tale deeply strung in betrayal, supernaturalism, and uh, a man who is drawn to power and wishes to take fate into his own hands. He's been given... At any cost. At any cost. Yes, at yeah. any cost. So Macbeth is given a prophecy by three witches that says, first of all, he'll become Thane of Cawdor, which is a promotion, basically. Um, and that ha- comes true. That happens. And then that he will become king eventually. Um and he decides to make that happen sooner than it might normally. Yes. He was fast tracking way <laughs> he back was, then. He was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, by uh, stabbing the king, the, the current king, in the back, so to speak, or in the front, or in the head, or all just over his body, him. just stabbing him many times. Um, and I play Lady Macbeth, his wife, mm-hmm. who um, is very agreeable with this idea and persuades him to do it. Um, she's hugely ambitious and. And understands how ambitious he is and can see it, even though he's kind of covering it up with um, niceties and mm. and humility. She knows that he it's something that he really wants and so she pushes him to do it. So she has to, uh, in a sense, play along with him? Um, she has to play along with him, but she... Or does she have a greater understanding of him a, than he has? Yes, she has yeah. a greater understanding. And so she is trying to... She's literally pushing him across the threshold. She's... Forcing Behind him every to do great it with, man. <laughs> with as much manipulation and love and yeah. <laughs> There's a woman pushing him. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then they get into deep trouble. Um, Kevin plays Macbeth's best friend Banquo, mm. who is with him when the prophecies occur, and and Banquo is given a prophecy himself, which says that his sons will be king. He will never be king, but his sons will be king. And Macbeth and Lady Macbeth don't have any children of their own. And so... Um, well, Banquo, you need to go off and see those witches and see what is in store. <laughs> you might be able to fast track this. So, yeah, so, so it's all about ambition and betrayal, as Kevin said, and what happens when, when human beings are corrupted by power. Do you mm. reckon in high school years that this really resonates with that generation, with, with the younger generation? I remember reading it in high school and... and being fascinated by that world. It's, I think it's one of the more accessible Shakespeare mm-hmm. tragedies. Yes. It's pretty condensed. Like, it doesn't have lots of subplots. It's pretty much the story. There's a lot of action in it. It's kind of like an action film it's fast on the paced. stage. It's very fast. Yeah. And... Um, I, I did get swept up in the story. There's witches, there's magic, there's, you know, um, the mythology about birds signifying somebody about to, being, about to be murdered. Um, and, you know, it's... it's um, I think I think even as a teenager, you're you know you have ambitions yourself, and and you're trying to figure out your personal relationships, and and I could definitely relate to it. I mean, I I relate to it more now as an adult. I kind of understand more about it now, and I think mm. that's just natural with Shakespeare. You kind of understand different bits at different times in your life. Yeah. What's what's it like catching up with uh, all of these? Uh, have you worked with all of these people? They're all from various television mm. shows, but have you have you known them in past productions or in past? Uh, past work. Well, I I graduated with uh, Lachlan Woods, who's uh, in the play playing Lennox, and Tom Hobbs. He was in the year below at uh, at VCA. So it's great to actually be 
back on the floorboards with, with these guys. Um, there yeah. seem to be two places that are pumping out really good talent, Whopper and, and uh, VCA. Oh, I well, thank you. <laughs> you were, you were, you were Whopper. <laughs> yes, See, I went to Whopper, yeah. <laughs> See, I was right. <laughs> and Jai went to Whopper as well. Right. He was the yep. year above me. And Sharina, Sharina yeah. um, who was on Wentworth, was two years below me. So it's a bit of a reunion. And I've mm. worked with a couple of the other actors before as well. Robert Menzies, who a lot of Victorian audiences would know, yes. Um, Sir Robert. So <laughs> <laughs> so Robert, yes, um, and with Tom Hobbs, and so it, it's nice. I've never worked with Simon Phillips before, who's the director, and I've wanted to for a long time, and it's really great to be part of this show, which does feel like it's rounding off this trilogy, as you said, of of these um, Shakespearean works. How stuff. does it feel for you both as actors to to be uh, in the theatre and doing something like this? Does it sort of do you feel like this is the really um, the, the Pure, more pure form of acting. <laughs> mm, well, f- for me, and going back to to school, is that studying Macbeth in year eleven was what sort of inspired me to pursue acting and pursue drama into year twelve, and so on and so forth. So it's it's crazy to be on this massive circle where now I get to play it on a professional level. So were you actually playing a role when you're in year eleven? I uh, know, studying, no, studying it in year it. eleven. Yep. Uh, it was jargon to me i didn't know what they were saying until my 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 lovely um english teacher mr mcleod really went in depth of the passion and the language of shakespeare and i was like whoa like this is a whole different world like it's it's brutal it's so there's so much violence and stuff like that in this play and you know when i was that age that's that excited me so that's what i wanted to sort of isn't it, isn't it amazing and geraldine you probably got one too i was talking about uh, one of my uh, former teachers, and it was music for me. Um, he absolutely uh, was inspiring, and you've you've had that same feeling about Mr. McLeod. Yes, yes, Mr. McLeod. Did you have one? Yeah, I I was lucky. I had a couple. I went to a performing arts high school in Sydney, and so my music teacher Anne Boyle, my drama teacher Andrew Harrison, there was a and my English teachers as well. I I had a lot of people who really um, I think they saw that it was something I was interested in and really encouraged me to do it and I probably wouldn't have if I hadn't met them. Also, actually, funnily enough, Sarah Goods, who's now an artistic associate at MTC, was my teacher at the Australian Theatre for Young People when I was a kid oh. and I remember her saying, you should keep doing this and um, and I did. So, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Uh, the uh, this uh, pre- um, presentation is um, at Southbank Theatre, um, and it's on until the fifteenth of July for listeners. Melbourne Theatre Company's Macbeth at mtc.com.au. Easy to remember, mtc.com.au. And I do invite listeners if you've got a favourite Shakespeare quote, share it with me after the break nine six nine hundred six nine three or thirteen thirteen thirty two. Lovely to meet you both, and, yes, I, you and too. I hope it's a huge success. Thank you. Thank you. And you were nominated for a Graham Kennedy. I award. was, yeah. yeah. It was a lovely surprise. Yeah, um, a great company to be part of. My word. Yeah. Uh, great to meet you both. I hope it's a huge success. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks,